What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 career mode here today for part 64 I believe it is at the Chinese Grand Prix China, very odd track I think, to me at least it feels like Brazil What you don't appreciate how good it is until you actually drive in it um, But anyway, into the strategy for this race I thought let's go aggressive because if we can catch out those doing the one stop then we could potentially be in a good position obviously we, we are going to have to make an extra stop so we're going to have to have some good pace it's going to be a risky one but you got to risk it for a jockey biscuit haven't you so this is the grid for the race so it's a Williams 1-2 with Hamilton heading it and Raikkonen P2 then it's both Red Bulls as well as Pierre Gasly is ahead of Carlos Sainz. Max Verstappen's fifth and Valtteri Bottas is sixth. Lucas Weber seventh and Kevin Magnussen P8. Rounding up the top ten is Brown and Sebastian Vettel. Eleventh and twelfth is Lance Stroll and Devon Butler. Lando Norris is 13th with Charles Leclerc taking a 10th place grid penalty. George Russell 15th and Alexander Albin is 16th. 17th and 18th is Antonio Giovinazzi and Sergio Perez. And on the final of the grid is Roman Grosjean and Nico Hülkenberg. That's the grid for the race and this is the start of it as the five red lights come on in China. Long haul of the lights, but they are out now, and we are racing in China. Everyone getting away well. Yeah, up front, it looks like Raikkonen may have got the best of Hamilton, as we are going to go the long, long way round. Turns one, turns two. When we get there, is such a long run down. Around that long right hand door, looks to have gained a couple of places from the start. We've actually got past Lucas Weber, and we're on the back of Sebastian Vettel. And down the inside, we go with two of them there. And now we're just left with the two Red Bulls and the two Williams in front of us. So all the way up into fifth from P9. That's a good start from us. We've got Max Verstappen behind us. We skip onto the back straight now towards the end of lap one. Max Verstappen trying to overtake us here. We're going to have to defend to the outside. It's kind of got us here. Into the hairpin we go. We're going to, we're going to have to try and defend around the outside. We do do that. Verstappen now on the outside. We defend him to the inside. Squeeze him out. We have the race in line. And now Verstappen's coming under pressure from... Valtteri Bottas it looks there and the Toro Rosso there of Lucas Weber as well but it defends them both just and now Lucas Weber trying to defend off Valt um, Valtteri Bottas because it is in his Alfa Romeo as it looks to have just got a nose ahead there they're still side by side this is amazing as we go through and now to more of the tighter part of the track down the inside Lucas Weber Looks have got the job done, but it looks like Valtteri Bottas may have just got the traction and I and does stay ahead there. Now skipping on further around the lap, Max Verstappen is going to go for it. We made a small mistake there. We try and force him all the way over to the left side of the track right as we're looking at it here. Verstappen goes for it down the inside. We defend around the outside, squeeze him out. And now that puts him on the back foot to Valtteri Bottas. Side by side they go round the long, long right hander and onto the back straight. Verstappen just ahead but Verstappen's not worrying about behind because he's attacking us. Side by side again we this time have the inside he's actually got to stay. Lucas Weber's on the inside of us. We're trying to go all the way around the outside again with lots. Lucas Weber tries to squeeze out there and he does and we've lost two positions there. Bottas battling away behind with the house of Kevin Magnussen and we look to have actually gone wide there going into the final corner Valtteri Bottas still behind us but now can we get those in front we've lost two positions we need to try and get them back quickly as we can as Magnussen and Sebastian Vettel are side by side Magnussen on the outside Vettel 
now the factory Bottas now attacking us heading down the back straight here on lap 5 we've really tried to squeeze him right to the inside but Bottas looks to have gone as we're going to have to try and defend around the outside we may just get him on traction here as the camera cuts to the most horrendous camera angle to what's actually occurring but yes we do stay ahead there of factory Bottas but Bottas isn't done yet because he's going to have a nice slingshot down towards turn one he's on the outside we defend to the inside and he gets us before we even get to turn one we do try and have a little look back down the inside of course there's so many lines to actually get around turns one and two here in China um, Bottas defends that again and now heading through I think is it turn 4 or turn 5 the little kink there and now we're going to send it on Valtteri Bottas make contact with him <laughs> there's quite a lot of contact there we actually do have damage to our front wing from that but Bottas defends that again we're still right on the side right on the back of him you would have saw the damage to Bottas' side bod there for a second but on the back of this now is Charles Leclerc so he's quickly got through the um about the pack there as we go deep and but and Leclerc's actually done the um undercut to us undercuts there as as Valtteri goes into the pits and now we're battling away with Charles Leclerc Charles Leclerc really trying to stick to the back of us here trying to stay in the slipstream we just about defended him and now into turns one and he's actually going to go for it down the inside there was contact there we just try and defend him all the way around the outside that then turns to the inside for turn two skipping on further away around the lap there you can see Sebastian Vettel in the background is having a pop at both of us not just the one of us and does actually get both of us we're going to try and send it but Vettel kind of chopping us off there we couldn't really go for that otherwise there would have been a lot of contact so we are going to stay behind but we are going to come into the pitch Charles Leclerc in his Ferrari is going to follow us in as well because we need to cover off of course Valtteri Bottas as now we will come we are coming in we are going to be making our first stop of the day of course and going on to the medium compound tyre and this is where we are going to change to front wing because it was horrendous it was really hard to kind of keep the car in a straight line there was so much understeer everywhere which it is going to set us back a bit um, but hopefully we have the pace to make that time back in this race and now we can get out and now kind of get the hammer down because of course those doing the one stop are still yet to pit really and so we just need to kind of keep keep it going find some pace find the groove and get our head down but on lap nine slowing down here is Lando Norris in his McLaren he's slowing down completely and he is pulling off and out of the Chinese Grand Prix and there's the safety car the safety car is out that's completely screwed us over oh no Lando Norris having something wrong with his engine and it's not just got no power as he does pull over here this is a replay of it but literally for the sake of one lap we have been we have been completely screwed over by the safety car but that's the risk you take in Formula 1 everyone literally everyone coming in now they've all got a free pit stop so all of these cars you see coming in now will pretty much all be in front of us after they make the stops because safety car speeds a lot lot slower compared to normal racing speeds which allows the pit stops of course to be quicker um, and what to account compared to those out on the track so that actually puts us all the way down in p15 so we have got a lot of place to gain and would you believe lance stroll is currently p1 in this race i don't think he pitted under the safety car so those mediums is what he is running unless he's doing the two stop i'm not too sure don't quote me on that but just weird to see Lance Stroll head in the field it is the two Williams behind him I believe it is Hamilton who leads that Williams pack as Stroll I don't know whether that's just me or he does seem to be going a lot slower than I probably would expect the AI to go 
but out of the final, out of the hairpin rather, and into the final corner, Lance Stroll bolted, and this Chinese Grand Prix is back underway, going on to lap 12. And now this is kind of screwed us over a bit. We have to now kind of do the impossible. We're well, not the impossible. We just need to get the hammer down and just get through the traffic as quickly as we can. As first up then is our teammate. We're going to try and go to the inside of our teammate. But Gio just cuts us off and is not having any of it. So we stay behind him here. We're literally pushing him round there. And now through the kink we go, can we send it to the inside? I'm going to try it, but again, Geo defends. Maybe it was just me, maybe I wasn't being as aggressive in being my teammate, but on to lap 13, we're going to try again. We're going to think about it, try and go around the outside, but I just wasn't quite close enough. But into the second part of kind of this section, twisty kind of slow section, we are basically pushing him there and we do pull out to the outside we are going to think about the dummy we are going to do the dummy down the inside we get the job done but just like we did on Bahrain to George Russell we go wide and Geo really overtakes us there and this is just costing us so much time because of course we need to make these are all on hards we need to make that 20 second gap to, to uh, even I have a chance we swap the dummy on Geo there we try and go around the outside he's clipped the curb and gets past and we do get past Gio Venazzi there and now we can get the hammer down and guess after those in front it is Lucas Weber next up then it's Charles Leclerc so we haven't lost obviously the safety car helped so we haven't lost that much time to Charles Leclerc literally one position on to lap 16 now down the inside we go on Lucas Weber I think it is and on to lap 17 now we're going to send it down the inside of Charles Leclerc Charles Leclerc defends is it Charles? It's now on to lap 18. We are going to send it here. Not only on the Ferrari. But on Devon Butler as well. But the Ferrari not done with us yet. And does actually defend that position. And now skipping on further around the lap on lap 18. We, are, we have got a run here on the Ferrari. We're going to try and go to the inside. We're going to fake to the inside. Now go to the outside. But we weren't quite close enough. We're going to try and cut back though. Break early. Then cut back. And we have got alongside Charles Leclerc. This is the battle for P7. But we are going to come in to make our one and final stop in this race on lap 18. There's 10 to go. Giovinazzi cost us so much time. You can see him just going past there. So now we have to kind of push. We can't really afford to get held up by anyone now in this race. We just need to get the hammer down. Get the head down. We kind of need to. We need to go into hammer time mode. And just push and push and push. Get the lap times in. Qualifying laps. We'll come out in P17. So... We've got a lot of work to do in this race. I think as we get past, we'll try and get past Kevin Magnussen round the outside there. That is an excellent move. If I do say so myself, that is an amazing move. But I feel like there should have been a bit of team orders there. Some multi 66.99 get Toto on the phone because that did cost me so much time. As Kevin Magnussen comes back at us down the inside, we do defend, but Magnussen, I'll give him his due, really kind of went wide, really forced us round the long way. But in the end, we do defend, we do get up into P16, and we can get after those in front. And on lap 22, our next target is Daniel Ricciardo. And we're going to go around the outside of Daniel Ricciardo. And we're going to get that job done fairly easily in this race. So next up, that puts us up into P15. Next up, P14. And that is the other half of Roman Grosjean in front of him. It is the other Renault of Devon Butler, then Giovinazzi. So 
We need to get through these fairly quickly. Le LeBron lap 25 now. As we get past the Renault, we sent it on um, Roman Grosjean. Grosjean getting past the Renault as well then. But Grosjean really overtakes it. We went wide again, literally copy and paste of what we did to um, Leclerc earlier on in the race. We down the inside, we do get the job done on Roman Grosjean. So next up, with two laps to go in this race, that puts us what up into P12. So next up is P13, and next up is Geo. So hopefully he's not going. We're going to swap him the dummy, go to the outside. Hopefully he doesn't put up as much as a fight before. But of course, this is race position now. So I, f I think you can kind of give him his G that he, he is going to have to put up a fight but we got him around the outside and we've got away from him at least I think we have Gio right in the slipstream is he close enough he's going to put it back down the inside we defend around the outside of course this before it was kind of there was still strategy to play out this is just full position we defend around the outside Giovinazzi has to call it a day with that one so two laps to go Next up is Sergio Perez, 4P11 in this race. So points, unfortunately, just a bit too far away, a bit too out of reach. But going on to the final lap, we're right behind Sergio Perez. We're going to try and go down the inside into turn one. He defends that, but he's so slow. He's really struggling for pace through the rest of turn one. So we kind of stick to the back of him like glue. And now we can concentrate real right on the back of him. Can we get this P11? We're going to try and go to the outside. Give him his G. Perez really covered off that outside. But we've got the traction on the outside. Those hard tyres really kind of showing their age compared to our fresh mediums. And we do get up to P11. But Lewis Hamilton, what a controlled race it's been from him. We'll win in China but look at this the two Red Bulls side by side into the final corner I think it's Pig Gasly who just beats out on his teammate Max Verstappen is for is fourth then comes Kimi Raikkonen then comes Lucas Weber and then comes Valtteri Bottas Charles Leclerc Alexander Alban then I think it was Sebastian Vettel then we come past Sergio Perez and Antonio Giovinazzi. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams, and they've got the race win to prove it. Before we go and look at the results, this is a replay of what happened. So, Carlos Sainz um, had Pierre Gasly down his inside, and then Pierre Gasly ground the outside. But Carlos Sainz did defend, so Carlos Sainz finished third, not Pierre Gasly. This is the results then. So, it was an interesting race. I think the safety car definitely won used to our favour for literally the sake of one lap I would have changed the strategy I would have gone on to that one stop but that's the risk you take in Formula 1 and it didn't help us out today so what, what more can you ask for some days it helps you some days it doesn't so this is the um, driver's standings Lewis Hamilton extending his advantage Pierre Gasly kind of making a little gain on Kimi Raikkonen we're all, all the way down there in 11th we only have 8 points of course from the first 2 rounds of course we just about got points in Australia and Bahrain so we're kind of carrying the post here for Mercedes Giovinazzi still yet to score seeing the standards we're currently P7 
So not too bad bearing in mind, it's only been three rounds and we have only got eight points. So I think going into Baku next, hopefully that's going to be a good race. I do enjoy Baku, one of the best races of the season. It's very challenging, but it's also kind of slipstream central. Of course, it's really hard to get away in Baku because whatever you do around the rest of the lap, as soon as you get to the final, um, the pit straight, you're just screwed. So back into the paddock now you would have seen everything there um with our rival with max verstappen that's continue over from last season in fact it's kind of started again so into the r d now though as emma says a load of stuff i don't care about in my ear we can look at the r d so i realized that i'm not really showing you what when the updates come in they're just kind of happening so they are they're all like they are all coming on time, none of them have failed, so every video, I know I'm kind of being like, this is the R&D tree, and I'm not really saying, look, these came, these didn't, so here it is now, I'll try and start that from the next video. We're going to do some stuff on the engine side, just to boost it up a bit. The aero side is probably the, the worst out of all of them, the chassis side looking pretty good, so we're going to do one on the engine side. I think possibly we may leave the chassis side, but we may just do one. We've got, what, 700 points, so we're going to do one on the chassis side. The aero, it's not too bad. It's bad, but it's not too bad. But this, this is the R&D. This is how much I helped Williams last season. Of course, if you remember back, you think back, go back and watch the videos. I kind of saved all of their most important parts. And you can see there how much they dropped from the less important ones compared to last season but that has been the video for today i hope you like i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in china don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more